Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use light maps along with dynamic lighting using dual model trick in Copper Cube 3D Game Engine. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let me open my Copper Cube editor and let me maximize it. Before starting the video, I want to thank Andres for showcasing this light mapping trick to me and to the community. So first we need to create a clone of this cube mesh in order to use the dual model trick. So I'm going to press Ctrl plus C to clone it. And in order to showcase, I'm going to move it here and then I'm going to change its material lighting from static to dynamic. And then we are going to add a point light so that we can calculate the light map for this first cube mesh, cube mesh one. And then we are going to select this light mapping tab here. And then we are going to simply increase the resolution here. I'm going to put three extra zeros here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to simply calculate the light map. So as you can see, our cube mesh one is now light mapped. And our cube mesh two is using dynamic lighting. If I move this light here, you can see. This one has changed to black. And this face of this cube mesh one is completely lit, totally unaffected by this point light. So it doesn't matter if I move it here or here, cube mesh one will remain unaffected, but cube mesh two will be affected by this point light too. So in order to do or to use dual model trick, what I'm going to do here is, I'm gonna change the position of this cube mesh two back to original position of this cube mesh one. So now it visually looks that we have only one cube mesh in our scene while in actually we have two cube mesh in our scene. So what we are going to do next is we are going to select our cube mesh one and simply go to materials tab here and change the material from solid to transparent add and we will have our cube mesh along with dynamic lighting and static lighting or the light maps so you can see this side of this cube mesh is lit by this light here and this side is totally lit by the light maps. And as we move around this light here, you can see the cube mesh is still receiving this point light. And if we move it here, then the light map side is also receiving point light. So this is how you can use dual model tricks to use light maps along with dynamic lighting in Copper Cube 3D Game Engine. A huge shout out to Andres to showcase or share this trick with the community. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope I will bring more videos regarding Copper Cube. And that's it. Have a good day. Bye bye. Take care.